Paul Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 12th question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2. This is from a harder set of reading and writing questions. This one is a bit of a doozy. Number 12 reads, which finding, if true, would most directly support the researcher's hypothesis? So when you go to the, when you go to the passage, you want to look for the word hypothesis, pinpoint what the hypothesis is. Researchers hypothesized. Now, if it said it at the last sentence, then we want to really hone in on the last sentence. It sounds like this whole paragraph is about what the researchers hypothesized. Just pay attention to everything. That a decline in the population of dusky sharks near the mid-Atlantic coast of North America led to a decline in population of eastern oysters in the region. Now you might be saying why a decline in shark is gonna to lead to a decline in oysters. It might not make sense to you on the surface, but let's read on a little bit. Dusky sharks do not typically eat, uh, consume or eat Eastern oysters. Now that makes sense because if they did eat Eastern oysters, then a decline in sharks would be an increase in the oysters. But do consume, the sharks consume cow nose rays, which are the main predators of the oysters. So at this point, what you might do and notice, you could highlight on your SAT, there's this highlighting feature, and then you could type in a little note. So that's great for the digital version. But you would maybe write something like this. You've got sharks eat rays, and the rays eat the oysters just to have your information streamlined there great now we're going to go to the answer choices answer choice a declines in the regional abundance of dusky sharks prey uh, other than cow nose rays are associated with regional declines in dusky shark abundance so what dusky sharks eat have nothing to do with how many dusky sharks sharks there are. Um, so answer is A is going to be done. Answer is B. Eastern oyster abundance tends to be greater in areas with both dusky sharks and cow nose rays, but uh, than in areas with only dusky sharks. So it does that does not make sense either because if there's area that there's only dusky sharks, then those dusky sharks would eat the rays, but there's no rays around. And remember, the rays eat the oysters, and so there's actually going to be more oysters if there's an area that there's only the sharks, because there's no rays to eat those oysters. So answer choice B is gone. Answer choice C. Consumption of eastern oysters by cow nose rays in the region substantially increased before the regional decline in shark abundance began. So that doesn't make sense either because consumption of cow nose rays increasing that's going to make the oysters decrease but it has nothing to do with how many sharks there are so answer to a c is gone answer to a c has got to be the answer answer is d cow nose rays here we go right here have increased in regional abundance so if they've increased there's going to be fewer oysters as dusky sharks have decreased in regional abundance. Now, okay, it makes sense that rays are gonna increase if there's fewer sharks because there's no sharks eating the rays. So D is gonna be your best answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these hypothesis questions or just tough reading comprehension questions overall. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok.